Hi and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So today we're going to be taking a look at an application called MixW4 from Rig Expert. Now MixW4 is a new multi-mode multi-platform software for radio amateurs. It covers a load of different digital modes including the popular J65, FT8, RITI and also CW. Now MixW4 can support connection to a Kiwi SDR as an external receiver directly but don't worry if you don't have one of those Kiwi SDR receivers you can go ahead and use your normal SDR receiver and use a piece of software such as Cubic SDR, SDR Sharp etc and then use VB audio cable to pump the audio into MixW4. One of the other great features of MixW4 is that it has CAT control so what this means is if you own a HF radio manufactured by Kenwood, Icom or Yesu, you can control the radio directly from this software. Where? All you would need would be your CAT cable and an audio interface to go between the output and the input of your radio to the, your computer's sound card. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at how we use this software. So one of the first things you want to do is fill out your personal data in settings. Uh, just pop in your locator and your call sign. The locator is quite useful because when you start receiving data and the call signs turn like a reddish color, you can click on them and it will give you an estimated distance from your location. Also, if you are using this software to transmit, it's also going to use your call sign in any kind of predefined returned text messages. So on the screen at the moment, we've got the Mix W4 software running and I have SDR console version three tuned to around 14.09 megahertz and we are currently decoding some RITI. The bottom left hand corner that you can see here with a blue background and the two yellow lines, that represents the transmission of Ritty and in the top left hand corner of the screen with the yellowish background you can see that's the received data. Now you also might see some kind of garbled information that's there. Uh, I haven't found a way of kind of squelching out as it were the garbled information but when the signals do come through it does decode them quite well. You can see that I'm clicking around on the mouse as well so as I'm clicking in the center of each of these transmissions where you've got the two yellow lines that's just aligning and telling the software which message to start decoding. You can easily clear the screen by right mouse clicking and selecting clear. So as mentioned before, we can also decode FTA. So let's just go and have a look at that. We're gonna select FTA on mix W4 and we're just gonna change the frequency on SDR console to where we have some FTA transmissions going on. So back over to mix W4, we just now have to wait for the transmissions to start coming through and being decoded. So as they start to be decoded, you can easily see on the top left hand corner, the messages which are being received and decoded. The ones in yellow, if you double click on them, you'll see over on the right hand side in the middle, you'll see information about that station. And if you have entered your locator information into the settings as I shown at the beginning of, of the video, you will see in the info section how far away they are from where you are, which is pretty good because it gives you an indication of how far you're receiving. So if you haven't heard what FT8 sounds like, I'm gonna go ahead and just play a few seconds of it now so that if you are scanning the HF bands and you come across it, you'll easily be able to identify it and then maybe load up Mix W4 to try and decode it. Now one of the other useful decoding options Mix W4 has is decoding CW. So just go ahead and find some CW, make sure that it's being pumped directly into Mix W4 and it should start decoding. Now, as you can see, I've picked up a station here in the United States and this is on 20 meter band during the day and the HF conditions at the moment are pretty abysmal. So we're quite lucky to pick up a station from the United States especially coming all the way to here to the UK. A couple of other things to mention about Mix W4 is if you look on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you'll see the live DX cluster. Obviously this uses the internet. And the if you look at the top right of the screen, you will also see the buttons that you can use for cat control and changing bands on your radio. Anyway, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will leave links down in the description below of where you can get this software from. And in the near 
future I will be releasing a video detailing on how you guys can win a SDR receiver package all for yourself completely free of charge and free to enter as well so until the next video guys take care and we'll see you in the next one Thank you.